meteorologist Chad Evans. Certified by the National Weather Association. Weather from where you live. Well, this heat wave is now going all the way to Ohio, but the real core of it, where you've got temperatures around 100 or above, and the heat index as high as 125, is right here from Iowa, Missouri, down to Kansas, Nebraska, and Oklahoma. And it was right on the edge of that where we had a little derecho, a long lived damaging wind event, go from North Dakota to Michigan, and then it kind of collapsed over our northern counties this morning. But as for us, that cap, that lid on the atmosphere associated with the heat wave has totally shut off any rainfall at all. And you can see there's nothing going on and there's in the uh, center part of the country. However, there are two areas I'm watching for tonight. We've got a little wave out here in western South Dakota where some storms are popping and another one here in northern Wisconsin. Now, during these heat waves, a lot of times you get storm clusters right on the edge of the worst heat. So I'm going to watch this area up here and that one in South Dakota, because if we can get a line of storms to form here, it'll probably move like this. It may actually move like that a little bit, a little more to the south than the southwest. However, we're so capped, there's a question whether that's even going to happen tonight. So something to watch for storms early tomorrow morning. But in the meantime, the heat is on 94 Monticello. Logan Sports 92 here at the station after 94 for the high so far today in the heat index. But with the actual air temperature 95 Rochester, it feels like 110, feels like 110 Peru, 109 Monticello, and 107 here at the TV station. So as we head through the evening, very hot, very humid, and the temperature not falling much, 84 degrees by 11 o'clock. The heat wave will roll on all week, and again, we will watch the storm potential early tomorrow morning. So some uncertainties about that, but we're going to keep an eye on Wisconsin. Highs 95 to 100 all week, heat index to 115, and again, we'll watch tomorrow morning. And then there could be a few widely scattered storms Friday and Saturday. Not much relief tonight, though. A little patchy fog in places, generally upper 70s for your low temperature. And tomorrow, after any storm threat in the morning, highs running mid to upper 90s, 96 Monticello Lafayette, 97 Vetersburg, 95 Madaryville. Heat index as high as 112 tomorrow afternoon. And Wednesday, Again, mostly sunny, no threat of any rainfall at all. We're talking 95 to about 98 for the high temperature, 97 Mafia, 96 up towards Star City. So here's the outlook. Again, if that storm cluster can form in Wisconsin or South Dakota, we'll watch it for tomorrow morning, but I really question whether it can hang on with this lid in place. And then for the rest of the day, just 96 for the high. 97 Wednesday, we're still capped rain free Thursday before maybe a couple scattered storms arrive Friday and Saturday with highs running still right around 100 degrees. There's your seven day forecast. Notice the temperature pushing 100 by later on this week. 99 Thursday, just a few very widely scattered storms Friday and Saturday, and even Sunday, Monday, still hot mid 90s. So get used to this. It's going to hang on to early August, wow. above normal temps. Wow. All right. Thanks, Chad. Well, experts are calling it a game changer. Doctors have performed the first ever MRI-guided laser treatment.